It offers a deeper analysis from different sources, and it gives a, a space, I think, for people's voices to be heard. Accusations of voter fraud and voter suppression continue to abound in the U.S. presidential campaign, with both Democrats and Republicans blaming each other. Professor Spencer Overton of George Washington University's Law School believes that the American voting system is in need of transparency and reform. I had a chance to speak to him earlier in Washington. I think there's some big picture things that we need to do that engage in, in reform. I mean, certainly between now and Election Day, Americans need to go to the polls. They need to vote. In talking about these issues, certainly we don't want to discourage people from voting. So people need to go to the proper polling place, take the necessary ID, and they need to vote. In terms of big-picture reforms, I think we need to do two things. Uh, the first big thing we need to do is curb manipulation by politicians. So what does that mean? That means we need to uh, have independent commissions that administer elections and that draw districts that engage in testing and auditing of these machines. We also need to open up access to more voters. The United States is in the bottom 19% of all democracies in terms of voter participation. That's in part because of some of the problems with regard to registration and the fact that it's more difficult to cast a ballot in the United States than in many other democracies in the world. So we need things like Election Day registration, which would allow somebody to... Uh, cast their ballot on election day or register to vote and then cast a ballot on the same day on election day. We need things like restoring voting rights to former offenders who serve their time. You know, there are states here in the United States, one of them is a swing state, Virginia, where they disenfranchise people who've committed a felony for life. And, and we've got two states, Virginia and Kentucky, that do this. And they're alone with Armenia as the only democracies in the world that disenfranchise former offenders for life. And as a result in Virginia, 25% of African-American males can't vote. Across the United States, there are over 2 million people who can't vote, who have completely served their time. That's more people than in the states of Delaware, North Dakota, Vermont, and Wyoming combined. So more people than in these four states who can't vote who completely serve their time. And so we need reforms that allow for greater access, greater participation. We need to stop unnecessary barriers like uh, over-inclusive and arbitrary purges. We need to really just open up the process so that voting is easier, so that we truly have a government of, by, and for the people. Endless wars, abuse of powers, declining living standards, and the climate change crisis. The stakes couldn't be greater in the U.S. 2008 presidential elections. And with your help, we're moving our news operation to Washington, D.C., where we'll focus on money and corruption. For example, big oil and arms companies shape American economic and foreign policy with far-reaching effects on the lives of ordinary people. With allies in government, trade unions, the media, and in think tanks, they're a hidden hand that controls the commanding heights of American politics. Taking on the industrial military complex is what real change requires. Even former presidents and high administration officials have said so. But corporate television news treats such positions as marginal. Well, we think it's the decisive issue in the coming presidential elections. Uncompromising journalism requires questioning assumption, interrogating structures of wealth and power, Corporate TV news just won't do it. Only a news organization that's truly independent can tackle such issues with courage and tenacity. And we'll take on corporate TV news live. You'll watch TV news with our panel of writers, journalists, scientists, and historians. You'll be able to join in by phone, webcam, chat. Together, we'll discuss and debate what's the real story and take on the myth and the propaganda. But this is only possible if you support us now. We need to prove that a viewer-funded model works. So if you want the real news, we need you now. Please click on the donate button and give generously. Now's the time to decide. 
if you want the real news to thrive. Your tax-deductible donation makes it possible. Please contribute at therealnews.com.